you want to try on elbows position uh, we could do different exercise, exercises from this position to facilitate strength control and help the patient to the next step uh, the exercises are similar to what we did before in brief and you could do the full scale of everything we've done before but in brief uh, we could do for example um, uh, first of all holding the position and uh, then uh, stabilizing technique like it is not stabilization PNF technique and the techniques can be done at the head and neck muscles or the upper trunk I prefer them the upper trunk because this might be the area we need to work on with the patient uh, so for example uh, let's do um, rhythmic stabilization just a second don't take me to you okay so uh, don't take me to you in this position okay good keep breathing Okay, keep breathing. Now let's get ready to switch the direction of the switch. Okay, keep breathing. And let's do it one more time. Okay, and relax. Mm -hmm. So we could do these. We could teach the patient to do a weight shift. So I want you to do weight shift to the right and weight shift to the left. Okay, we repeat these several times or we could do weight shift forward backward, which is more difficult. So don't switch the whole, switch the whole body. Just Weight shift forward and backward. Okay, good. Yep. Uh, we could eventually, for example, advance to a single weight breathing. So weight shift to the right and lift your upper limbs to reach towards me here, for example. And we could do different exercises to reach to different objects and then come back. And then do it with the other limbs as well to reach in different direction. Okay, and come back. Um, we could also have the patient do weight shift and move uh, forward, backward, or sideways. So I want you to walk on your elbows and, for example, come to like uh, you know shift your weight to this uh, direction. Okay, good. Or we could do it. Um, let's do it forward, backward. Okay. So um, good and come back. Now these techniques can be used for bed mobility. Like for example, if you do it forward and try to work a little bit, shift your body weight forward. So do it. Uh, but do weight shift forward first. So weight shift the upper limbs. Yep. And then try to drive your body. Okay. Yeah. Now this technique. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> now this technique can be used by some patients to uh, move around, but notice the huge amount of friction of the whole body against the mat. So this is not really advised very much, but they might need it in some cases to reach the end of the mat or end of the bed at, uh, on one side for particular reason. Um, another exercise we could do from this position is the cat camel maneuver, uh, which is the um, serrated anterior uh, uh, push-up. So for this one, I want you to uh, flex your neck and close back your scapula. Okay, good. And then I want you to extend your neck and uh, retract the scapula, move them over. Okay, good. Uh, this exercise is very important because um, it is strengthening serrated anterior, which could be used for uh, push up for, to carry the body of the weight whenever we need to uh, push against um, the body of the weight against the upper limbs. 